Hey guys, what's going on? Ken Raider here for Raider Sports, coming to you live with an instant reaction to what I just saw, a big boneheaded mistake by uh, Jeff Brom, or whoever was calling the plays for that Purdue Boilermaker offense. Oh my god, the term is time management, people. I see this time and time again from certain coaches, a la Andy Reid, is probably the biggest person who, under two minutes, I just want to rip the headset off of. But Jeff Brom just pulled a an Andy Reid right out of the hat, leading 31-17 going into the fourth quarter. It looked like Purdue had this game pretty well under wraps. They actually led 31-17 up until like the six-minute mark. Purdue gets the ball back at the five-minute mark. They, they throw it on first down, run it on incomplete. They run it on second down. First down, excuse me, they run it on second down, get a couple yards, and then throw it again on third down. So the entire drive, they, they only wasted about a minute and a half on the clock. Even if they would have ran it on, say, third down, you're still eating up about 40 more seconds by the time you punt, and by the time the punt's done and the play is over. We're talking maybe another 10 seconds there, so that would have been an extra 40 seconds. And what ended up happening was after Purdue punted, Nevada, of course, ran it down their throats right into the end zone, makes it 31-24. The ensuing possession, Purdue's Eric Sindelor, I think, I think that's how you say his name, but... The quarterback for Purdue, anyway, throws an interception. Giving the ball back to Nevada at like the 48-yard line, pretty much near midfield. Then the very... Then the next play, um, around third down or so, what ends up happening? It's like third in, what, 20? I think it was. Nevada gets a 22-yard uh, pass play. Then Nevada kicks a 50-something yard field goal, and it's good through the uprights. Nevada wins 34-31. Jeff Brom made a huge mistake in not running the football. It's time management. Whatever happened to this concept? I see it time and time again that teams just absolutely blow this idea out of the water they all want to throw it they all want to try to run the score up and at the end of the game that's why there is a running game i get it Sindelar had 428 yards passing he threw it like 52 53 times something like that that's insane and no wonder why he threw an interception his arm has to be jello by this time so it would it's Amazing, you know, Reno's going to live it up tonight. Nevada gets a huge win at home and a gift from from Purdue. And just, I can't believe it. I, I just cannot believe that all those steps had to take place for Purdue to get shut out in the fourth quarter and give up 17 points. And 10 points within the last minute. It is absolutely insane to me. It has completely blown my mind way out of where I could even fathom this being. I mean, this isn't like, you know, a team. This isn't like an underdog blowing it where where you'd be like, okay, they're just not good. We we can see these things happening to like an FCS team or something. But for it to happen to a Big Ten Purdue Boilermakers team, this is just something that's brand new to me. And, well, I shouldn't say brand new because it does remind me of the Northwestern game when they opened up, when Purdue opened up against Northwestern last year, where it was, where they kind of lost late in the game. So there is a habit of Purdue losing like this. I just didn't think it would happen to Mountain West Nevada. And really when it comes to the Mountain West, you really got to be impressed by how these guys have handled themselves so far. 
Nevada just beat Purdue. Hawaii beat Arizona. Utah State damn near knocked off uh, Wake Forest. Literally, they Wake Forest had the, another team who had to win it in like the last minute just to knock off Utah State. I'm a, a Boise State's got a show me game against Florida State. Fresno State's got a show me game against uh, USC. So there's a lot. Of really strong competition, it seems to be in this Mountain West, and it should be a very fun conference to watch going forward. I think, unfortunately, it's going to kind of cannibalize itself, where so many good teams are there, they're just going to eat each other up, and nobody's going to be able to make that group of five uh, bowl game, get that group of five domination into the uh, New Year's Six. So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Nevada. 34, Purdue 31, last second field goal from like 50 some, 56, 58 yards, something like that. It was, it was a pretty decent distance. And for a college kicker to make that under those type of uh, pressure with, with, with all your uh, classmates watching in the, and on CBS, that was just an amazing, amazing kick. So live it up, guys. And this is Ken Raider for Raider Sports saying Purdue frickin' blew it. Thank you for watching.